so today we will be talking about rocks and the classification of rocks so basically the earth's crust or the lithosphere is composed of various types of rocks that we see of all kinds of shapes and textures so rocks are of different colors different sizes differing on their permeability permeability is the ability of the rocks to absorb water so geologists they study about rocks and their forms which is very important for us to understand the kind of topography and the natural vegetation and the land use of a region so generally speaking all rocks can be classified into three major groups igneous rocks sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks igneous rocks they are volcanic rocks they are made by cooling and solidification of molten magma which comes out because of the volcanic eruption igneous rocks are crystalline in nature that means they are basically glassy in texture and because they take a long time to cool down and then solidify and form based on their composition igneous rocks can further be divided into two groups so with the igneous rocks which contain large amounts of silica they are called as acidic okay like granite which is very less dense and lighter but basic igneous rocks are basically more denser and they have greater proportion of oxides basic oxides like iron aluminium and magnesium and they are very dense and dark in color now based upon the origin or how the igneous rock is formed we can divide it into two different types one is extrusive igneous rocks and the other is intrusive igneous rocks so extrusive igneous rocks are volcanic rocks which are formed on the surface of the earth so when the volcanic eruption takes place the molten lava settles on the surface and it cools down so basically small crystals are formed like basalt is a common volcanic or extrusive igneous rock other examples are obsidian pumice rhyolite andesite all these are examples of extrusive igneous rocks so examples of extrusive igneous rocks which are found in antrim in north ireland and deccan plateau of india and snake plateau in us colombia molten lava comes to the surface by means of different crevices and cracks which are formed on the surface when the volcanic eruption is taking place these can be vertical dikes which are work vertical in shape or horizontal sills where they basically solidify and they form extrusive igneous rocks the plutonic or intrusive igneous rocks these are igneous rocks which are formed under the earth's crust at a great depth and they cool down and solidify very slowly and they form large crystals so for example gabbro granite these plutonic rocks comes to the surface or are exposed only when there is a lot of erosion or denudation which takes place on the surface of the earth most of the igneous rocks are extremely hard and resistant that is why they are quarried for road making and polished as monuments and gravestones sedimentary rocks are formed from sediments which are accumulated over long periods usually under water they are layered and are stratified rocks the strata may vary in thickness from few inches to many feet so basically for many years sediments get accumulated by different agents of erosion and then compaction takes place because of great force and tension on the surface which results in sedimentary rocks now sedimentary rocks are non crystalline and they contain fossils of animals plants as well as other microorganisms because they have got accumulated over thousands of years sedimentary rocks also help us to know about our geological past and are classified according to their age they can be classified as organically formed sedimentary rocks and mechanically formed sedimentary rocks organically formed sedimentary rocks contain remains of living organisms such as corals or shellfish and whose fleshy parts have been decomposed leaving behind only the hard shells The most common rocks formed are of calcareous type. They include limestones and chalk. 
carbonaceous sedimentary rocks are also organically formed from vegetative matter which is basically formed in swamps and forests they contain compact carbon like peat lignite or coal so then comes mechanically formed sedimentary rocks now these are the older rocks which have been broken down into smaller pieces by agents of erosion and then cemented and compacted together to form mechanically formed sedimentary rocks so the mechanically formed sedimentary rocks also contain sand grains and quartz fragments and which are derived from granites and they also vary in different colors and textures and compositions on the basis of their uh, formation and many types of sandstones have been queried for building purposes of for making grindstone the finer sedimentary materials form clay widely used for brick making shale or mudstone sand and gravel may occur in uncemented form all rocks whether igneous rocks and sedimentary rocks they finally change into metamorphic rocks because they have to go through a lot of heat a lot of pressure and chemical changes over thousands of years that they have been lying on the surface so their original character and appearance and texture greatly changes or can be altered because of intense earth movements so limestone changes to marble sandstone changes to quartzite shale into schist coal into graphite that's all for the video today if you have liked the video please press the like button and subscribe to my channel